the athletes that we have are representative of a big number that's going to be going for the Olympics. Currently, the teams that we have here, we have the para-athletes, we have the athletics team, and the rugby team. Your Excellency Sir, with your permission, we'll request that you welcome them each at a time, and I'll start by reading their names as they each approach to shake His Excellency's hand, then take their seat. I'll start with the para-athletes, Julieta Moipo. The band can give us some music as we do that. Jeremiah Mariga. Dedan Ireri Maina. Kennedy Ogada Ivuza, Benson Mwaneki, Stensi Nema Obonyo, followed by the athletes. Your Excellency, we have Julius Yego, Wiseman Were, Edwin Kurgat, Ronald Kwemoi, Daniel Kibet, David Sanayek, Veronica Mutua, Mercy Chebet, Boniface Ontunga, Kevin Kip Korir, Reynold Kip Korir, Mary Mora, Timothy Cheriot, Maureen Thomas, Koitatoi Kidali, Zablon Ekwam, Samuel Gadimba, Vivian Chebet, Lillian Odera, Faith Cherotich, with their officials, Alex Sang, Peter Angwenyi. The next category, Your Excellency, is the rugby team, Lamek Ambetsa, Brian Tanga, Jojo Oro, Kevin Wekesa, John Okoth, Samuel Asatsi, Brian Mutugi, Francis Haman Humwa, Patrick Odongo, Vincent Oyala, Crescent Ojuang, Nigel Peterson, Moses Ndale, as part of the rugby team with their officials. I'll request the captains who are receiving the flag to kindly now come to the front. The two captains, the para-athlete captain and the captain of the Olympics team to kindly come to the front for the presentation of the flag. The captains to officially receive the flag from His Excellency. And the captain will now receive the flag officially. We'll have the 
Paralympic also represented and receive a flag on behalf of the Paralympic team, after which we will have the national anthem before we proceed with the rest of the program. The flag also for the Paralympic team, after which I shall request, after she has received the flag, that we all now stand for the national anthem before we proceed. The Kenyan national anthem. Father, we cheer up this evening as your beloved children. Yours is a wonderful order, the author of life and protector of your being. With a dedicated mind, heart, and body, we present the Team Kenya as they prepare for the upcoming 2024 Olympics in Paris, France. Through their passion, spirit, and love, bless their resilience and courage as beacon of our country. May our team Kenya shine brightly and high as they raise our national unity and anthem to our winning race through your Holy Spirit. Bless their ceremonial kids in your grace. Shield them in thy holy name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless team Kenya. Bless our president. Bless our nation. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Your Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, the Cabinet Secretary, Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports, Honorable Ababu Namwamba, the Speaker of the Senate, Honorable Amazon Kingi, COG Chair and Governor Kirinyaga County, Governor Ann Waigoro, all CSs and PSs present, the President, National Olympics Committee, Kenya NOC, Mr. Paul Tergat, the French Ambassador, Your Excellency, Anud Sikwe, the Chinese Ambassador, Your Excellency Zhou Pingjiang, Olympics Team Kenya, both Paralympic and non-Paralympic, all distinguished guests. Your Excellency, with your permission, at this point, allow me to invite the Cabinet Secretary for Youth Affairs, Creative and Sports, Honorable Ababu Namwamba, to make some remarks and also proceed with the rest of the program. Why don't we put our hands together as we invite the CS for a warm welcome, Karibu. Your Excellency, Your Excellency the President, thank you for this honor, privilege to host our team Kenya that is headed to the Paris Olympics 2024. Let me recognize all those who have found the time to join us for this very special, very great national honor, starting with our leaders who have joined us, our Speaker of the Senate, our chair of the Council of Governors, my colleagues from the ministry, 
and our partners from both the corporate world and the diplomatic community. I want to recognize my friends, the ambassadors of France, of China, of Algeria, all of you, we cherish you as our very special friends. And of course, our partners from the corporate world, Safaricom, Kenya Airways, EABL, uh, NCBA, all of you, we cherish you and we appreciate your presence here. I want to ask the president of the National Olympics Committee of Kenya, my good brother and friend, an Olympian himself, a legend of our sports in his own right, to open this session for us. But now, Mr. President of uh, Olympics, we'll have to lower the first letter in your title, President. <laughs> Because, Your Excellency, now we have three presidents here. The president of NOG, the president of Athletics Kenya, and the president. <laughs> Let us give a round of applause to Dr. Paul Target. Karibu sana. Your Excellency, President of Republic of Kenya, who is our host today here, our cabinet secretary, uh, who is uh, also with us, our great friends, His Excellencies, the ambassadors who are here. We celebrate you. At the senior government, uh, government officials, Team Kenya, who are here, Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. On 26, uh, on 26 July 2024, the world will be, will be witnessing a historic and spectacular opening ceremony of the 33rd Olympiad along River Seine in Paris, the first time the Olympic Games will be opened outside of a stadium for the first time. I think this one is going to be one of the best that we have ever had. The National Olympic Committee of Kenya, from the onset, ambitioned a memorable Olympic experience for athletes in Paris, and we are very excited uh, to be on the home stretch towards that vision during these games in a few days' time, which is around the corner. Similarly, we see these athletes, uh, athletes a key part by transferring to Kenyans back home an amazing inspiration and a sense of pride from their splendid performance as the games kick off in Paris. Your Excellencies, the National Olympic Committee of Kenya, which I'm privileged to lead and remains the most successful National Olympic Committee in Africa with 113 Olympic medals is committed once again to deliver more medals for our country. Towards this objective, we have put in place uh, robust logist logistic uh, logistical travel and transit management plans for Team Kenya. And we are confident uh, that, uh, that this will uh, contribute to the delivery of exceptional performance from these unique games. Looking at our qualified team, which uh, is around 70 athletes, we have 32 women and 38 men for the first time 
we have almost 50-50 in represent representation in these games. As you have heard, we have rugby, judo, we have fencing, swimming, and athletics. The above team is also uh, made up of many young and dynamic athletes, which uh, pleasantly include a high school student, and this gives us such a great assurance of a bright sporting future ahead in our country. As we present uh, the team to the Olympic Games, we, we are determined to carry with us and represent the aspirations of millions of our fellow uh, countrymen and women in these Olympic Games. Already, we are putting this athletes uh, under high performance uh, training, uh, residential training camp, which spreads across the country. And most importantly, we have the biggest in Nairobi and also in Eldoret. This makes us as a nation because of the way we have been able to plan and deliver these games. For a very long time, we used to have close to only two weeks, but this one we have had close to about two, two months. And the team will be leaving shortly for another pre-training camp starting this Monday in Miramas, south of France, near Marseille. Allow me, Your Excellency, Sir Atis Chancha, to request my executive board who are here just maybe to stand up and uh, maybe wave, please. <clears throat> These are the people, they never sleep. They work so hard and we appreciate you. Thank you very much. Sit down. Your Excellency, sir, from us, as I said again, the Olympic family, we, rep we present to you and the entire uh, government our utmost gratitude for placing several or various resources at our disposal in this bad way to Olympic Games. The athletes before you and those they represent acknowledge the government's efforts to improve their life, uh, their welfare, and which uh, we are not yet where we wish uh, to be in terms of athletes' compensation and appreciation we are very thankful for the milestones achieved, especially under the review, uh, reviewed reward system for our champions. Your Excellency, thank you for creating this opportunity to officially flag us off to the games. We wish to, to, to adorn with bright and honor our national colors as we remain true to our calling to be the ambassadors of our cherished nation, Kenya. Asante sana, Rais, and God bless you for what you have done and do keep doing for our nation. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, I'll now ask two representatives, respectively, of the Olympics and the Paralympics teams to say a word on behalf of the respective teams, starting with uh, Asya Mohammed, representing the Paralympics athletes. Asya, please, if you could 
walk here. And as you come, let me also recognize Your Excellency Wael Nasruddin Atia, Ambassador of the Arab Republic of Egypt, for joining us. Karibu sana. Yes. This is uh, Asya Muhammad, who is the captain of our Paralympics team. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Your Excellency, all protocols of Zab, I'm Jambo. Mbo Salama. On behalf of the Para community, we just want to thank you for having us here. Uh, we, we won't promise so many things, but just to let you know, we will go there, out there, do our best, give it all, like really all, <laughs> so that we can raise our flag really high. And we want to say, Asante Sana. Thank you. And now we listen to Kevin Wekesa representing the Olympics athletes. Um, all protocol observed. Good evening. Um, I'm honored to stand before you here today, not just representing rugby, but representing the entire qualified Olympic committee. So, for the qualified athletes, our journey to the Olympic Games is a testament of the hard work we've been putting in for the last four years behind the closed doors. The early mornings the athletes wake up, the time they've been away from their families, the time they've been, they've had to endure harsh training conditions through the highs and lows of, of, of the training sessions and the competitions they've had to be in. It's a testament of all that. And as we go to the, to the Olympics, we would like to, to thank you, to thank you the government, the National Olympic Committee for giving us a high performance training at Kasarani and Eldoret for the athletes and also a follow up camp at Miramas, which we are headed to. So on the matter of, of sports being, a, on the matter of sports, being an, uh, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I came prepared with my speech, yeah, but I left my phone outside. <laughs> so today, as we embark this journey, we carry the hope of our beloved nation, Kenya, the 50 million plus Kenyans who are watching us play. We are not just carrying the, we are not just going as athletes, but as ambassadors of our nation at a global stage, with an audience reach of over 3 billion people, but representing the 50 million plus Kenyans. I particularly am inspired by the emphasis of sustainability and environmental stewardship that our teams have embraced. With, with the NOC program layer, which in the next four years plans to, plant, plans to plant over a million trees at the Olympic Forest in Gong, and also the Kevin Wekesa Play Hard, Play Clean with the Green Hue Initiative, which focus on sustainable practices with the sportsmen, with the sports people. This, this just shows that sport is a, is a powerful tool of influence to the community, and it can be used to inspire change by leading as an example. To my fellow athletes, as we step into the global stage, let us remember the values that brought us here. Let us compete with integrity and honor, and may we give our best. And may we bring glory to, the, and may bring glory to Kenya at the Olympic Games. And Ms. Your Excellency, a request from the athletes themselves. As the, as the reward system was reviewed to the athletes and they're thankful, they also wish for the allowances to be reviewed according to them. <laughs> they are also requesting for a high performance environment 
for the full, full four years of the competition, not just two months heading into major games. And that's a kind request from the athletes. Uh, Asante. <laughs> Yeah, allowance actually to me sorti tayari. Mr. President knows. <laughs> Allow me, Your Excellency, now um, to acknowledge the partnership the national government has with our county governments. And we work incredibly closely. Our talent pipeline, the Talanta Hela Initiative, is run jointly between the national government and the county governments, and we appreciate that. And at this juncture, I now want to ask Her Excellency the Governor of Kriyanka County and Chair of the Council of Governors to say a word. Karibu sana. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, William Samoe Ruto, the Cabinet Secretary for Sports, my brother C.S. Ababuna Mwamba, Speaker of Senate, all the distinguished guests, the committee of Olympics, the Olympics team, chaired by our very own Honorable Tergat. Ambassadors present, all protocols observed. Good evening. Your Excellency, I really don't have a speech um, on this occasion, but I'd just like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude as the Council of Governors for your unwavering support in championing sports development. We note that it's your vision and dedication to our youth that has gotten us to this place. Your Excellency also allow me to appreciate the Minister for Sports and the work that he is doing in the ministry. As he has mentioned, Your Excellency, we work together uh, both the national government and the county governments uh, to promote sports. We note that it is indeed a tra transformative endeavor aimed at bolstering growth and commercialization of Kenya sports, and we really commend him especially for the Talanta Hela initiative, the work that we are doing together in collaboration with the national government. Your Excellency, the, the county governments have been playing their role, and on our part, we have been committing resources to encourage uh, the improvement of sports at the county level, to improve and develop facilities, and also to sponsor and support various sports initiatives. Some of these include the talent identification initiatives, through what we call the annual Kenya Youth Intercounty Sports Association. And many counties have what they call the Governor's Cup for football, amongst others. Your Excellency, going forward, we hope in collaboration with the Ministry, we will expand the scope of uh, support to the various sporting fields. We also appreciate the fact that the at talented athletes being flagged off hail from various counties, thus showcasing the depth and diversity of talent across our nations. Ours, as on behalf of the Council of Governors, we would like to encourage their continued support and development of such programs to ensure that every corner of our country, country can contribute to our sporting success. Again, on behalf of the Council of Governors, allow me to wish take this opportunity to wish the entire team the very best. You will be in our prayers. We will be watching you, cheering you, even if you will not be hearing us. And uh, we always want to thank you for making Kenya proud. Thank you and God bless you. Asante sana, Governor. Now, Your Excellency, we are here to celebrate our incredible sportsmen and women who have qualified to, flag our flag, to fly our flag on the biggest, grandest sporting arena or stage in the world. 
the Olympics. It doesn't get bigger than the Olympics in the sporting world. And we celebrate all these people. And as you have seen, Your Excellency, from the two representatives, our emergency, our emergency ambao wako front line, ya kutumia sporty, ku promote Kenya. Tupatia hawa emergency, a round of applause. <laughs> but Your Excellency, we are also celebrating a very proud tradition, a very proud heritage. Kenya is by far, by miles, the most successful African country in Olympics history, winning over 100 medals. And we have been on this stage, Your Excellency, from 1964, at the very birth of our nation, when Kipruguta Rap Chumo, the let, who, Your Excellency, under your order, instructions, we have honored him by renaming the Kericho Green Stadium to Wilson Kiprugut Chumo Stadium as the first Kenyan to win the first Kenyan to win our very first Olympics medal. Also sending a message that your administration is keen on honoring this heritage and honoring our athletes. Your Excellency, we also celebrate today the rollout of our sports apparel value chain. We conducted an incredible competition, national competition, Your Excellency, jointly between the Ministry and the National Olympics Committee. The competition was about designing the appropriate national dress for Team Kenya. And hundreds of young people across the country participated in this competition. And tonight you are joined by Four young people, Majinzi Wote, who won this competition to dress Team Kenya at the Olympics. And so this is also an opportunity for us to celebrate the creativity, the innovation of our young people in igniting that sports apparel value chain. <clears throat> and as a commitment to that value chain, Your Excellency, we have decided as a, as a ministry together with the committee the National Olympics Committee, to commercialize their creations. And so when you enter Kenya House in Paris, you'll be able to purchase the creations of these young people at Kenya House in Paris. <clears throat> but even for our citizens that will be sharing Team Kenya back here at home, we have also put in place a plan of how you can purchase these creations to celebrate the identity of Kenya at the Olympics. Sports apparel value chain. Straight from the plan, a better agenda program. Your Excellency, we are therefore delighted as a ministry to present to you 70 Olympics athletes and nine Paralympic athletes who have qualified for those two segments with the Olympics kicking off on 26th of this month and running until the 11th of August and thereafter the Paralympics program. I am delighted to report to you, Your Excellency, that this particular Olympics will witness an extended spread of disciplines. And uh, President Targar has indicated the six disciplines, athletics, rugby, swimming, fencing, judo, as the areas where we have qualified athletes. I'm also glad to report to you, Your Excellency, that this is the best prepared Kenya team to any Olympics in history. And government has invested in this team appropriately. We have invested in qualification and we have taken all federations to all qualification opportunities around the world. We have invested in training both here at home at Kasarani in Eldred for high altitude training. We have invested in a special training camp in Mahamas in the south of France, in the Marseille region, which, is, which has been available for a whole year for Team Kenya to train. And I'm delighted to acknowledge the partnership between the government of Kenya and the government of France in that respect. And particularly, 
the municipality of Mehambas. And Ambassador Suke, Asante Sana for that, uh, for that incredible show of friendship. Your Excellency, let me conclude by announcing here that in the spirit of the austerity measures that you have taken, there is no space, there is no room for joy riders in Pahi. There is only space for Team Kenya to fly the Kenyan flag in Paris. And so Team Kenya is going to be very lean, but we have provided information to everybody who wishes to travel to Paris. We have provided information to the Council of Governors. We have provided information to Parliament and to the public. You are welcome to travel to Paris to cheer Team Kenya at your expense in the spirit of supporting Team Kenya together. <clears throat> Even the government delegation is going to be at the barest minimum. I mean, we have to tighten the belt in every space. And the space is not just around the president's waist. It's around the waist of all 50 million Kenyans, including those who want to enjoy the Olympics. Your Excellency, finally, we have a special production, a very brief production, to show you the creations of the young Kenyans who won the national kit competition. It's a brief, a brief clip which I will invite our media team to quickly play so that you can see the journey to the kit that you will also be unveiling today. If we are ready, please, we could play the kit. Father exhibit our prowess and uniqueness, donning outfits that embody our essence while exuding the indomitable Kenyan spirit. Last year, the Ministry of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports, in partnership with the National Olympics Committee of Kenya, ignited a national call for submissions from creators across the country in the realms of fashion design and the apparel industry. This has been a truly inclusive process. It has been very transparent. It has been very open. The process is going to give us a truly, truly Kenyan feel. A deliberate move that ultimately gave an opportunity to participants to present creations that would take the boxes of decent, contemporary, and magically Kenyan. The opening ceremony has what we call the Parade of Nations. The Parade of Nations is something that every country looks forward to. It marks the beginnings of the games. And something that's very significant is the outfits. For the first time, the National Olympic Committee of Kenya decided to be disruptive in the approach for the opening ceremony. Behind the scenes, a solid panel of judges and constructive critics drawn from accomplished industry heads, experienced administrators and new generation youngsters, former Olympians and legends were pulled to meticulously comb through the submissions to ensure that professionalism, creativity, authenticity and the heritage were eminent stage by stage. We felt the best thing is to incorporate representation from every sector most importantly, the athletes. Getting athletes involved in that process of selecting and uh, selecting the Olympics kit, I think it's, it's, a, it's a good step, it's a bold step. I think it makes the athletes also feel like they are part of the, the whole process. And like you said, the Olympic opening ceremony, it's, it's amazing, it's grand. I think I've been there twice. Over 120 competitive submissions were received, not only mapping out the diverse regional representation, but also unearthing a multitude of hidden talents right from the grassroots. A vivid revelation that aligns with the strategic bottom-up economic transformation agenda that commits to fair and equitable distribution of opportunities right from the bottom of the pyramid. The submissions were amazing. They really did have a lot of thought put into them. They thought into the culture, into the color, into the meaning, and that was amazing. With inclusion as a key component of governance, no detail was paired in the design process. Especially as uh, the paras, 
you know, not all clothes that we can wear for them to hear our, our opinions and actually working on them, it's amazing. Now creatives have a chance to have a say in some of these big things like yeah, the Olympics. Evidently a great win for the fashion and the creative industry at large, top talents from the competition are not only bound for national recognition but also handsome monetary rewards with up to 900,000 Kenyan shillings up for grabs set to propel their endeavors even further in the April Valley chain. The motivation to enter this competition was to show that the Kenyan creative uh, environment is very rich and I wanted to share what I love doing which is dressing up. It means I'm on the right path, career path, and it is a very good boost. I was like, oh, this is happening, like, this is amazing. Like, everyone is looking at me, everyone is cheering me on, so it was just euphoric. We come with one purpose, to celebrate these artists that have done this job. For us, uh, to make sure that when we go to Paris, we will be turning National colors done by these young people. Look at the key to him sight. And that is why we have taken time to curate a fitting look for Team Kenya. Careful, aware that we are heading to the fashion and romance capital of the world. So we have been careful to make sure that when Team Kenya steps out in Pahe on 26th of July, we want the whole world to sit back and say, wow, here comes Africa's most successful Olympics nation. Because that is who we are. <laughs> Your Excellency, that is the journey that has taken us to a kit that represents not only the creativity of our young people, but also reflects who we are as a nation. And Your Excellency, this is part of our monetization agenda of rewarding talent in every respect. And as uh, I call the athletes to display to you some of those creations, let me also confirm to you that, uh, as you instructed, we have reviewed the reward scheme for our athletes and the cash rewards have been boosted significantly. And the allowances have also been boosted significantly. Lakini tumeambiwa kwamba kwa sababu olimpiki ndiyo kilele chayote ndiyo mambo yote. Tumeambiwa ya kwamba turudi tena tu to angalie, to check it, na tunafanya hivo. Kwa hivo, mambo ni mazuri. Mambo yako sawa. <laughs> mambo yako bien. So let me ask Mary and uh, a few of our athletes to walk in uh, with the part of the part of the kit. <laughs> What you have displayed in front of you is the opening ceremony kit, followed by the official Olympics kit and the closing ceremony kit. With your permission, Your Excellency, I'll request that just, let's just spread a little bit for His Excellency to join us for a photo. So what we have is the opening ceremony kit, the official Olympics kit, and the closing ceremony kit. Your Excellency, with your permission, if we may kindly invite you to just take a picture with them together with Waziri before we proceed with the rest of the program. Makofia designers, tafadhali, designers, kweli umefanya kazi ambaye inapendeza kabisa. As you have seen, it was a process that was all-inclusive and ensured that the designers have come together to produce something that Kenya is indeed going to be proud of as they fly high the flag of Kenya. Let me invite the four designers, Claire, Georgina, 
Rosemary Odiambo, please step forward so that you can join this, uh, this photo with His Excellency the President. These are young people, my Gen Z, they are displaying their creativity to the whole world. Asanteni sana. You may be seated, please. You may be seated. And now it is my honor, privilege, and pleasure to ask us to be upstanding as we welcome His Excellency the President to address us. Karibu sana, Mwishmiwa Rais. Thank you very much. Let's take our seats, Asanteni sana. Um... Cabinet Secretary for Sports, Your Excellencies, Ambassadors and High Commissioners present, sponsors of this uh, great team, Team Kenya, the leadership of National Olympic uh, Committee and uh, the leadership of sports in Kenya. Good evening, fellow uh, Kenyans and athletes. Hamjambo. Santeni sana na karibuni. A round of applause for those great Kenyans who have done a wonderful job. Sports is an integral part of our nationhood and heritage, and we all know that. It captures the Kenyan spirit of resilience, dedication, and lately, innovation. If uh, our closing, opening, and sports team is uh, attire is anything to go by. That we are a sporting powerhouse in Africa and indeed globally is not in doubt since our debut in Melbourne in 1956. The recent Olympics in Tokyo, all the way, and was played under um, the recent uh, Olympics in Tokyo that was played under a cloud of um, a dark cloud of COVID. We all remember that Tokyo was subdued because it was held when we had the COVID pandemic. The Olympic greats and legends, the heroes and heroines, over the years remain an enduring reminder of how each one of us can play a part in the two Olympic values of excellence, respect, and friendship to keep Kenya highly positioned and respected in the community of nations. It is true that our sportsmen and women have been the greatest ambassadors of our nation. In fact, many people globally know Kenya because of our sportsmen and women. When our athletes take to the stage at the Olympic Games, they represent the values and ideals of Olympism that thrive on solidarity, friendship, and peace. These are values that we espouse when we beseech us in our national anthem to dwell in unity, peace, as our flag is hoisted up before billions of people on global viewership and spectators when our athletes do their thing. I wholeheartedly congratulate the athletes of Kenya for being at the forefront of service to the nation and take pride in, the associated, in being associated with these champions on behalf of the 50 million Kenyans. I fully understand that your journey to the top echelons of being champions and Olympians is long and tedious, periled with a lot of personal sacrifice. But that is why you remain the nation's source of inspiration as you continually represent our collective spirit of hard work and resilience. Listening to the two speakers, great Kenyans who spoke here, they speak of 
the many things that you have gone through, both in Eldoret, in Nairobi, and in other areas as you prepare. The Beckoning Olympics in Paris is not a walk in the park. Every nation has prepared its athletes and will be representing and presenting the finest of them all at the Olympics. Today, I take tremendous joy in knowing that we too are sending not just the finest of Kenya, but that of the world. You are our gallant warriors to this sporting challenge and rest assured that the entire nation is behind you in every step of this noble assignment as you unleash your fullest potential at the global showpiece. And I, I have heard you say you will spare no effort. And uh, what uh, my dear sister representing the Paralympics said, that they will do their best. That is, that is all we ask. As you are aware, the government did not spare any effort to support your qualification pathway in line with our commitment to support the identification, nurture, and promotion of talents under our Talanta Hela initiative. We will continue this work with you until you come back with a harvest of medals and experiences from Paris, when we shall monetize this with handsome rewards. And I want to promise you that I have given very clear and firm instructions to the ministry to make sure that the reward system represents the excellence that we have in our sportsmen and women, and also the allowances must keep in pace with the excellence that we see in our sportsmen men and women. It is very encouraging to know that we have some six sports disciplines qualified to represent the country in Paris. This is commendable, and it goes to demonstrate that with more investment from the grassroots, technical, and other support system, Kenya can have a rich portfolio of sports to send to the quadrennial uh, games. And I want to very sincerely identify with the counties for partnering with us as we uh, enhance the pool of spaces where Kenyans can participate in this uh, endeavor. I am also delighted to learn that these games, and indeed our Kenyan delegation has largely upheld the gender balance consideration, which I applaud the leadership of the National Olympics Committee as I salute NOC for their laudable transformation to a robust, dynamic, forward-looking uh, forward institution. Let me also appreciate my team at the Ministry of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports for bringing to life coherence and predictability to that space so as to make its contribution to the government's youth development agenda a reality. I equally salute the various partners. I know they are here. Uh, Kenya Airways, Safaricom, I think, uh, BAT, Safaricom is here? BAT, EABL, are they here? Great. I think, uh, is that uh, APSA Bank? Yes, I think I saw APSA Bank. And all our other partners. I also want to thank a representative of our friends from Algeria, from Egypt, from China, from, of course, the host country in France for partnering with us. <laughs> to them all, I assure that the government has taken cognizance and encouraged the same to continue beyond Paris 2024 Olympics as we also strengthen our reward system for such investments. Today, as I officially unveil the team, Team Kenya, that is, including the ceremonial kit, and also hand over to you our national flag, as I did shortly. May it be a symbol, an instrument, to motivate you to summon all you got to raise it high in Paris and make every Kenyan so proud and inspired to aim for the best in all our endeavors as we celebrate your success. I am very, very proud of the, the team that I see here. And I am particularly proud of 
the exercise we went into when I asked Ababu Namwamba that it is not fair for us to buy kits from all manner of places when we have Kenyan talent that can craft and curate a outfit that is truly Kenyan, designed by Kenyans, produced by Kenyans, and tailored by Kenyans. I am very proud that that we are doing this time around. And look at uh, the young people who have put this together. Can you stand again? You know? That is the kind of talent we have. And it is the reason, please take your seats. It is the reason why we have taken the position that we should not be importing what we can produce locally. I will continue to say this. We cannot possibly be importing um, kits, you know, the ones you guys are wearing, which can be made in Kenya. We cannot be importing eggs or potatoes or cement or furniture or diapers or bumpers that can be made in Kenya. We must make them in Kenya so that we can give Kenyans, like those young ones there, an opportunity to be designers and an opportunity to be um, uh, the people who produce them. That is how we are going to create a nation that has talent, that has opportunities, that creates jobs, and that creates wealth. Congratulations to the achievement that I see in this space. I will be watching keenly to see how that ceremonial dress designed by uh, uh, th those young uh, people there. Yeah, I will be watching to see the ceremony and I wish Kenyans can celebrate the young people who have put this together. We could not ask for more than expect your usual excellent role of being our premium ambassadors as you represent the brand Kenya fully and superbly. And I have no doubt in my mind that we will come back here to celebrate medals and to celebrate your excellence and success. My very best wishes from all of us, the 50 million of us, to you. As you go to Paris, please know that our goodwill, our prayers, our support in every way is right behind you. Uh, many of us may not uh, attend the Olympics. I had been asked by the President of France uh, to attend the Olympics, but uh, unfortunately I will not. But you have my support in every way. We will be right there with you, and I will send a very uh, powerful team to stand with you. And Kenyans will be cheering you from every part of our country, including those who are away. So, Asante Nisana. Iyo maneno mume niuliza ya kuapanga vizuri, iyo nisha nisha patiana instructions kwa huyu pius upange hawa watu wangu vizuri. So, na asipo apanga vizuri, mume shitaki kuangu nita ndajua vile mtafanya. So otherwise, asante sana. God bless you, and I wish you well. Thank you.